Hello everyone, welcome to study time. In this video, we are going to see class 4 EVS chapter 19, Abdul in the garden. The purpose of this video is to make and kids understand the answers of uh, just for reference only. We will see the chapter. Abdul in the garden. It was a holiday. So, it was a holiday. Abdul was helping his Abu in the garden. Abu was clearing the dried leaves and grass from, uh, grass from the vegetable beds. So, Abdul started to pull out the grass from one of the beds. He found that it was not easy to pull out even the small grass. His hands became red by the effort. In trying to pull out the grass, Abdul knocked down a stick that was supporting the pea plant climber. The delicate stem of the pea plant broke. Abdul said, why are you pulling the grass? The roots of the grass are strong. You will have to dig them out. Abdul carefully dug, uh, dug out the plant. He then saw that the roots of the grass plant were longer and much more spread out than the part of the plant above the ground. So this is a thing that happened in the Abdul's garden. We will see the questions. The stick which was stuck in the ground fell very easily. It was difficult to pull out a small grass because the root of grass were firmly holding the grass with the soil but whereas a stick has no roots and hence it is difficult to pull out the small grass. Do all plants have roots? Yes, all plants have roots. Look out some plants and trees around you. Imagine how deep and spread out the roots of these plants are so you can check it out the roots of plants are 2 inches to 10 inches deep while the roots of a tree are 5 feet to 10 feet deep also root of some trees go as deep as 50 feet into the earth so abu remembered that he had to send some radish moli he uh, started to pull the radish out of the soil abdul uh, wondered whether these were also roots. Only a few radish were pulled when there was suddenly a strong wind and rain. Both of them picked up the radish and ran. They had just reached home when a branch of the neem tree in the courtyard broke and fell. In fact, Abu was lucky, lucky to have missed by only a few inches. Despite the strong wind, wind the tree remained firm on the ground. They both sat down to have with Ami. Abu said to Abdul, the plants were getting dry. Now that it has rained, we will not have to water plants. We can now sit and play Ludo. So, as it was raining, they were uh, um, talking that they need not water the plant. They can sit and play. After three days, Abdul uh, saw that one broken part of the pea plant has dried. Guess which part would have dried up? Why? The leaves of the broken part of the plant, a pea plant would have dried up because that part did not get water and minerals from the soil. Soil. Why do you think the neem tree did not fall despite the strong wind? Strong wind. The roots of the neem tree are big, strong and deep which anchors the tree strongly. Hence, this is the reason why neem tree did not fall in spite of the strong wind. On putting water in the soil where the plants are growing, the drop, drooping uh, leaves become fresh again. How? Because the water from the soil is transported to the leaves and other parts by the roots. So, from roots, the leaves get water. Due to this, drooping leaves becomes fresh again. What do you feel? Do all plants, plants need water? So, yes, all plants need water water which of the plants around you need regular watering so we can write uh, uh, flowering plants plants uh, need regular watering because uh, the uh, those plants uh, need uh, water regularly what will happen if nobody gives water to these plants these plants would die if nobody gives water to them abdul realized that he never watered the huge neem tree where did it get uh, get its water from he thought which of the plants around you do not need watering where do they get water from 
So this is because uh, the roots of the neem tree go deep into the soil and suck water from the soil. Also other Greek trees like mango, banyan etc. do not require us to water them because they also get uh, uh, water from the soil. Also they uh, take water when it rains. Abdul wondered whether radish was a root. Why did he think so? Abdul was right to have wondered that radish was a root. The small roots on the radish and the fact that radish grows under the ground must have made Abdul think that it is a root. Look at the pictures below and find out which of these vegetables are roots. So here the um, following vegetables are roots. So carrot, radish, beetroot, root cabbage. These are the vegetables that are roots. Abdul has more questions. Nowadays, Abdul keeps thinking about all kinds of plants that he sees. Abdul saw a plant growing out of a wall in school. He wondered how that plant was growing like this. How deep must the plants of this plant be growing? So, it would be 10 inches to 20 inches deep. How do the roots get water? So, they get uh, water from the moisture present in the wall. How big will this plant grow? So it can grow considerably big. What will happen to the wall? The wall will crack and finally break if the plant is not removed. Can you give the name of the plant in the picture? So this is a people plant. Have you ever seen a plant growing from a crack in a wall? So you can write the place where you can see this uh, type of plant where was it so that was a uh, where was that present did you have any questions when you saw it so you can write yes i had one question in my mind when i saw it you can write what is that question so you can write how did that uh, how the how did the plant get water plant get water so this was the question that uh, that uh, came in your mind when you saw that plant what were some of the questions ask elders and find the answers the question that i had in my mind was from where the seed of the plant come on the wall the answer I got from the elders the seed of that very uh, uh, plant was carried by a bird to the wall the name of the plant that I saw was banyan plant. So you can write which plant you saw. Abdul saw a huge tree that had fallen on the roadside. He remembered the neem tree in his courtyard. He could see some of its broken roots. Abdul thought, so we'll see the question. Would someone have uprooted such a big tree or would it have fallen on its own? So, may, might be somebody would have uh, cut it or might be there would have some natural disasters. How old would this tree be? So, this tree would uh, be uh, no less than 50 years old. Abdul on seeing a tree surrounded by cemented ground thought that how will it, uh, will it get rainwater? This tree great uh, water through its root which go deep into the soil. So this is how these uh, trees get water. Let us talk which are the oldest trees in your area. Find out your elders how old the trees are. So you can uh, check with your uh, elders. So banyan tree, neem tree. So that will be older. Name animals who live on this tree. Monkeys, squirrels, uh, sparrows and crows live on that tree. Have you ever seen any big tree that had fallen down? What did you think when you saw it? Yes, I have seen a big tree that had fallen down at the bank of the river because of flood. I was just amazed to see the huge, thick and long roots of that tree. So, so you can also share your own experiences. Have you swung from a banyan tree? So you can write yes or no. Where did you uh, do such kind of fact? 
what did you hold to swing so that might be some roots i hold the rope like thick structures which was hanging from the branches of the tree so you can see in the picture these are the um, rope like structures which is used to swing there is a law against cutting trees there was a tree growing close to a lamp post the tree was full of leaves that the light of the lamp uh, bulb was blocked people felt that the branches of the tree needed to be trimmed before they do this they need to take written permission from the government office so before uh, we cut trees we should uh, get permission written permission from the government office have you ever seen any tree which has uh, which has roots growing from its branches so yes the banyan tree in uh, near my house has such uh, structures growing from its branches so you can see the pictures so this is how it will be like next let us do this get together with three to four of your friends from the list of things given decide who will bring which thing a transparent glass tumbler or bottle with a wide mouth rubber brand or thread some seeds of moong wheat bajra each group will work with only one kind of seeds soak a few seeds overnight in a bowl full of water take the wad of uh, cotton wool and wet it put it on the mouth of the tumbler tie it tight to the mouth with rubber band or thread thread remove soaked seeds from water and place them on the cotton wool you will observe you will have to take care of that cotton now wool does not dry observe the changes that takes place for the next 10 to 12 days did you observe the seedlings come out of the tree draw the picture of the seedling as it looks on the fourth and the eighth day so you're going to take moong dal wheat and bajra whole wheat and bajra so you're going to um, place it on uh, you're going to uh, observe the seedlings that come out of the seeds for 10 to 12 days and you're going to write uh, draw the picture that uh, that you uh, came on the day 4 and day 8 did you observe the seedlings come out of the uh, seeds so yes or no you can write so this is how it looks draw the picture of the seedling as it looks on the fourth and eighth day so it would be day four would be like this day eight would be like this what difference did you observe in the seeds after soaking compare with the dry seeds and dried so after soaking it would be swollen and sprouted after two days while the dry seeds did not get swollen and sprout what do you think would happen if the cotton wool had uh, been left dry so if it is left dry the seeds will not sprout in which direction did the roots grow roots grew in the downward direction the stem grew in the upward direction how big did the plant grow in the cotton wool so it can uh, grow very small uh, height say 4 centimeter or 6 centimeter did small plants come out from all the seeds so you can uh, write as or no what is the color of the roots the color of the roots is half white did you see any hair on the roots so you can write yes or no try and pull out one little plant from the cotton wool were you able to pull it out why so you can um, able to pull it out easily because um, it is very thin so if it is strongly uh, placed you have to give some effort to pull it out did you see how the roots grip the cotton wool do you think that the roots hold the soil in the same way also look at the plants grown by your friends so you can also check with your friends do you know desert oak is a tree that is found in australia so this is a uh, tree that is uh, uh, found in australia it goes almost as tall as your classroom wall it has very few leaves case how deep its roots go down imagine the length of about 30 such trees lay down in a line end to end one after the other that is how long the roots of this tree can be so the, the roots are very deep so that the length or uh, each root will be 
about the length of about 30 such trees. These roots go deep into the ground till they reach water. This water is stored in the tree trunk. Local people knew about this. When there was no water in the desert, the local people used to put a thin pipe into the trunk of the tree to drink this water. So, how interesting is it? What grows? Arif and Rupali did the above activity. They saw the seedlings grow. When asked what uh, the things that grow, they had very different ideas about things that grow. So, Arif made a list of the following. So, leaves, bud, puppy, nails, fish. So, these were the list given by Arif. Rupali said moon, tree, hair, watermelon, mosquito. So, what were the things that grow? So, we will see. What do you think? Which of these things listed by Arif and Rupali grow? So, all things will grow. Why don't you make your own list of things that grow? Your list can include the names of things that Arif's and Rupali's lives. Cat, dog, rats, plants, lizards, heart, nails all grow. So, these all grow. Think about yourself in what ways have you changed over a period of time? Have you grown in any way? For example, in height, in weight, you can write how you have changed. Has your height increased? How much taller have you grown in the last one year? So, 10 centimeter or uh, 5 centimeter, you can write. What other part of your body, some people cut it regularly, keeps growing? So, which is a part is nails and hair so these are uh, two parts keep on growing even if we cut regularly so hair so this is the chapter abdul in the garden hope you got uh, many ideas about trees i uh, hope this chapter is uh, useful and understanding thank you all